hi friends we're um, I wasn't gonna start filming now but um, we're going for a walk he's already gone for a run and we have peanut butter on recall oh they're back just popped open oh, they just the we, <laughs> there's a student driver ahead of us and they is their first time out and that was their first time out it's been about two minutes at the, the last stop sign <laughs> trying to decide if they could turn left there's no left there's no left turn, there's no left turn or turn right and then they did a really wide turn into the other lane of traffic anyway we're gonna go for a walk and it's overcast but it's not gonna rain it's not gonna rain for like the next two or three days which is fabulous um, we may not get full sunshine but at least it's not raining and uh, we're gonna get out and try and work out together on his day off um, I did not want to come had he not been home that teamwork I would have gotten dressed and gone to Old Navy or something. Oops. <laughs> I have a return to do and I still need to find a dress for my sister's wedding. I don't need one, but I want to look fun and festive at her wedding. I know, don't you wear Carhartts and... You're such a schmuck. <laughs> the sad thing is that there probably will be people wearing jeans and that drives me crazy. Well, you just put on your good cowboy boots and it's okay. As long as they're She your... doesn't live in like cowboy no, country. And Give me a break. He's not like... And he's not like that yeah, either. I'm just, I'm just giving that Helen's a hard time. I know, but... You know, anyway. they always say that us Washington people hug trees and, you know. <laughs> yeah, except that Chelsea got out of the car yesterday to church and I was like, you did not, girl. She's like, what, what? She has her cute little Hawaiian romper on. She never actually wore it in Hawaii because we didn't go to church. We were too tired. They had like eight o'clock church and I, no, it yeah, wasn't happening. Church. Yeah. Well, because they have one for like the visitors. Because they have so many people like, that come. We don't really care, but to get to know you because you're not sticking around. So <laughs> yeah. Let's make you go at 8 in the morning. Yeah. That's smart. It's not That's a bad idea. That's move. That's what I do. Be like, I'm not moving my <laughs> church time. Make them go Anyway, at anyway, anyway. So she has this cute romper on. And she has a little, her little uh, sweater that, you know, it's a little chilly. And then she had socks and Crocs. I was <laughs> like, you are the epitome of, of a Northwest girl. It's also her just personality of like, it's her, it is I'm her personality. Yeah, I I'm comfortable. Care. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's a cute Yeah. All right. Let's go to the walk. Let's. We're gonna go. I wanted to do the trail, but I also just want to try different, something different, and so we're gonna go down to the lake. This good man is running to see if those bathrooms are open for me. Otherwise, we might have to do another option. He's coming back. They're open. Okay, gotta go. This is a good day, yes, any. To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin struck out here at Costco. We did the whole rebate with the peanut butter recall, which if you don't know, check your peanut butter. Oh yeah, we had some bad ones. Yeah. Costco warned me. They sent me an email and said, hey, you did buy that peanut butter. You need to check it. They don't have any more. They had to get rid of all their peanut butter. So we don't have 
chance to get peanut butter and what else was that we can't find oh we, the two samples that we've tried the samples are back well they've been back for a while but mmm no, Thai that, coconut that curry. Thai coconut curry, no good. And then what did I just have? It was like a buffalo chicken salad. It looked like tuna so, fish something. I'm not eating it. It was not good. But normal stuff up here and mostly normal stuff down there. You got this as new. Oh yeah, I did get that. That was on rebate. I've been having um, yogurts and uh, granola and blueberries for like my late breakfast. This is on rebate. That was on rebate. That's new. I got the peach slices for Ashley to try and do something different and he got forks for work. So the rest is pretty normal. I just love a husband who cleans the drains. <laughs> <laughs> They're all clogged. Like seriously, a massive drain <laughs> down here. Here, let's see, maybe I can get a, uh... a little shot of it. That's so nasty. That's the second chunk I've gotten out. That's nasty. We've got this girl in here doing dishes, right? She's having to hand wash those dishes because we've already filled up the entire dishwasher, but I need this to start and wash and have said child unload so we don't end up with the mess we had today, right Ash? You had a lot of dishes to load, didn't you? This entire countertop was filled with dishes, right? Yep, okay, and then where are we gonna go, Ash? Get her new shoes. Get her new shoes. It's hard because even though I think that they're gonna wear sandals all summer, they do like to run and play, and I don't want them wearing flip-flops on her scooter and bike. So we need to go get another pair of tennis shoes for the summer, right? So I have been editing today's video. What am I doing? I'm gonna go in here, put away medicine. I've been editing today's video and helping my dad. We finally convinced him to sign up for Venmo. <laughs> We're like, Dad, we need to be able to pay you or you need to be able to pay us. I just booked our house for Bear Lake this summer with my whole family, which is going to be a lot of fun. But at $1,900, I need to have everyone pay me back quickly. <laughs> and my dad was second to last. Speaking of which, I need to call my twin sister and have her pay me because <laughs> she hasn't paid me yet. But it was fun to chat with my dad because he's very computer savvy. Like, he is a CAD design genius. He loves to work on a computer. And uh, anyway... <laughs> He's like, I said it sent the payment. And then he, he's like, I sent it to such and such a Dana Brown or whatever. He's like, that wasn't me. I don't know who you just sent a payment to. Turns out his account wasn't set up. And so it wasn't, it didn't actually go to some random Dana, but it was just fun to chat with him on the phone and kind of get caught up and get his Venmo account set up. And that's all I've done since we've been home. It's been kind of nice and relaxing. And I'm glad I went on that walk today with Jason. Um, but like I said, I need to go get Ashley some tennis shoes. Normally I don't go back out on like a school night, but we missed our time to do this um, on Saturday and so today's the day. Saturday she was out playing with friends and that was like way more important to be outside, out in the fresh air, it wasn't raining, it was sunshine, they played at the park, they ran back and forth to houses and so that was way more important than going to find a parachute. So hopefully we can find some and hopefully we can get some on a Memorial Day sale. Speaking of Memorial Day, hang on. It is Memorial Day next Monday, so one week from today and that unofficially the um, one year anniversary of my mom's passing. It's not technically the right date, um, but it did happen on Memorial Day. So it's kind of the date that I, I don't know, that we all kind of are associating with it. My family is getting together this Saturday to have a little barbecue and then to go over to the cemetery and put flowers out and to kind of be together as a family. Obviously I can't go, my brother can't go. Um, so it's unfortunate, but we are going down in a month to my sister's wedding and then a month after that to go for summer, summer vacation, all that kind of stuff. So I have my own little tribute to my mom. I think I mentioned this maybe like a month ago. I got my pinwheels. I will just explain the pinwheels really quick here just because it is of high significance. My mom, she was so cute. She had granddaughter days and every summer she would have all the granddaughters come over for three days. Moms weren't allowed. My sisters um, were able to help her out each year. Um, they don't have kids and so, or at the time they didn't have kids. And they would have granddaughter days and they would have activities and they'd go swimming and have s'mores up at the canyon with the campfire and volunteer at like retirement homes and sing and make cookies and all this kind of stuff. <sighs> And she would line her sidewalk with pinwheels. Sorry, we've had a lot of neighbors coming out. 
into the front yard. Um, anyway, my mom would line her sidewalk with pinwheels to designate that it is officially granddaughter day. And so all the neighbors knew, oh, it must be granddaughter days over at the hatches. And they all loved it. And when I arrived to my mom's house, to my dad's house, last year, a year ago, the day after she passed away, I arrived to my neighbors putting pinwheels on my mom's sidewalk in honor of her, and in honor of her passing. They just knew that that was the only thing that they could do. They delivered food, they delivered flowers, they, they were like, I don't know what else to do. But I will tell you with 100% certainty that every single person in my family gets choked up when we talk about pinwheels now. And we talk about what, we talked recently about what pinwheels we're gonna put out this year. Um, it's just become a thing. Like, are we, you know, we're putting pinwheels out for mom. What ones are you gonna get? Um, when I found these pinwheels at the dollar store, I'll show you here in a second. Um, I told my sisters about them. I said, Sh share it to the boys. Make sure that they know to go and get pinwheels and where they can find them. Um, and they all have each put them out in their yard. Um, and that's why those 4th of July pinwheels, I don't know if you, I did show those in another video. I'll show them to you here in a second. I will put the 4th of July ones out um, next month, about mid-June. I will put them out basically after Memorial Day. <laughs> I will put those ones out because they are high significance for me. And I like to remember mom, my mom during the summer and uh, kind of carry it through. And so I loved that we found one that I can use. I always love to decorate for the 4th of July. Um, so that being said, we have our pinwheels out and I want to show you. There's a new day that will come again tomorrow There's a new day to wash away the pain There's a new day to take away your sorrow But it was super frustrating because every single pair of shoes in your size, they would attach the stupid security tag on the lace. So you couldn't even open the shoe. You couldn't even like, like unlace it. Sorry, unlock. You couldn't unlace it to try it on. So she could only try on the right shoe. <laughs> and I was like, you have to try both shoes, people. And every single one in her size was like that. It's like some doofus messed up right yeah so we had to go to the front and we're like can you take off the security tag she needs to be able to try both of these shoes on he's like oh i'm so sorry they shouldn't have been like that i'm like well you need to have someone go back to the whole display because every single one of these is done wrong <laughs> so but you found some right yeah show them your kicks okay show them to the side she got white with the it looks, gold. It looks the same. Like yeah, she had orange ones before, right? Yeah. The swoosh was orange. On the camera, it looks like it's the same. Yeah. But you like them? Mm -hmm. Yep. I figured, you know what? Why uh, alter <laughs> the style and the shoe, right? Yeah. It's like if it works, it works. And if it's just a different color of swoosh, there was another one that was gray with the it's pink gray. swoosh that I wanted more, but she wanted this one, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Darling, you've got to keep holding on through the night. <laughs> we won't just say what just happened right <laughs> Turn the camera on. So, sorry for the bad lighting. We are That's sitting right. in our car. We just had some Panda Express. We just decided to have a little... We eat out way too much. We do. But we enjoy our time <laughs> together. Well, that's not the point. <laughs> <laughs> we too much. Chelsea got invited to go to dinner with her friend. Ashley is at home eating her dinner and Abby wants Subway. So that's where we're going to head right now, right? To get her some Subway. Yeah. Abby hardly ever gets takeout. Like she doesn't like McDonald's. She doesn't like Panda. She doesn't like Cafe Rio. She doesn't like a lot of stuff. So it's yeah. fine. It's fine. So she doesn't. So she's going to get something and Kaylee eats like a four course meal when she gets home from school. So. She was hungry today. Yeah, she was very hungry. So we just decided to come down and watch the sunset here at the lake again. Uh, it's kind of come full circle, but we're gonna say goodnight to you guys. It's kind of fun to just, I mean, he yeah, has Mondays yeah. off and it's fun to hang out and nice to just spend time. Out. So take advantage of time together if you have it, because 
don't you know. You might have it later. Yeah, you might not have it later. So take care, you guys, and we'll see you guys next time. Of all the men